Moin and welcome. Hello and welcome. This podcast is for motivated people who want to improve their Luxembourgish vocabulary, listening skills and fluency by listening to compelling content. I'm Anne, your dedicated host and the driving force behind Luxembourgish with Anne, with a true passion for teaching my mother tongue since 2012. In this dynamic podcast, I'll share with you interesting short vocabulary lessons and topic conversations from level A1 to B1, and together we will build a strong foundation of the language you need to speak with confidence about everyday life topics. I also share exclusive learning strategies and insights for the Spruchentest oral exam. So join me on this exciting Luxembourgish learning journey. Bas du Pratt, are you ready? Episode Nummer 47. Drei wichtig Regeln über den Satzbau am Lützebäuerschen. So three important rules about the word order in Luxembourgish. That's the title of this episode. Well, um, there are cases in which Luxembourgish and English word order are identical. However, the word order in Luxembourgish is more flexible. In particular, sentences need not begin with the subject, but there are strict rules determine, determining the position of the verb, okay, the verb like a sin, hun, whatever, and there are a few other rules to bear in mind. So, wir fangen mit der ersten Regel an. So, we will start with the first rule. Ein Regel is a rule. Bist du bereit? Dann lass. Regel Nummer 1. The verb is always the second element. Und the verb, like for example, sin, hun, machen, spielen. Okay? So no matter which element begins a Luxembourgish declarative sentence, so this means a normal sentence, so not a question, the verb is always the second element. Now, if you remember nothing else about the Luxembourgish word order, then remember this one. The subject. So what do I mean with subject? For instance, ösch oder menkanna, den Hund, taus, huh? these are subjects, will either come first or immediately after the verb if the subject is not the first element. I will illustrate this with uh, examples. So this is a simple and fast rule. So in a statement, declarative sentence, not a question, the verb always comes second. And uh, this uh, rule applies uh, to sentences and phrases that are called independent clauses. So they can stand on their own. And I will start immediately now with Beispiele, examples. So zum Beispiel to say, I learn Luxembourgish today is... Ösch lehren haut Lützebäuerisch. Okay, so Ösch is the subject, lehren is the verb, and then anything else follows afterwards. But we can also start in Luxembourgish with Today I learn Luxembourgish. And then it will be Haut lehren Ösch Lützebäuerisch. So here we start We don't start with the subject. We start with haut, okay? And then the verb still comes second uh, position. Don't haut lehren ösch. So, and the subject comes after the verb. Yes? Let's repeat the two. So, you can start with the subject. Ösch lehren haut letzebrisch. Oder haut lehren ösch letzebrisch. And the verb is always the second element. Now, what do I mean with the second element? element. So an element may be one word, but it can as well consist of several words which always go together. For example, to say this evening, you will say how den oven or at what time is um we viel hour. So these are words which always go together and then you put your verb after this element, okay? And then the subject comes after the verb. For example, if you want to say this evening, I learn Luxembourgish, this will be Hautenovent lehren ösch Lützebäuerisch. 
Yes, have you got it? Or for example, if you want to say at what time um, are you at home tomorrow? So you will start with um weifilauer and then bas du are you mur dohem. Um weifilauer bas du mur dohem and not um bas weifilauer. No. So when words always go together, but you will get this when you are at a um, further stage in your learning journey. Yeah. So this was now the first rule for the verb second element in the sentence. Die sweet regel, time, manner, place. So another area where Luxembourgish syntax um, may be different from the English one is the position of the expressions of time. So veni, manner, ve, and place. Wo. So in English, we would say, Tom is coming home by train today. So in such cases, we have the place, so home, the manner is by train, and the time today. But uh, the exact opposite uh, is uh, in Luxembourgish applicable. So we say time, manner, place. Zum Beispiel, to say Tom is coming home by train today, we would say, den Tom könnt haut, haut is the time, mam zuch, that's the manner, and then him is the place. Yeah? So, then Tom can't hold mam zuch him. Over to you. How would you say, I go to work by car every day? This is, ich gehe all day mam auto Ob da bist. Here again, you see, don't skin, and then all da is the time. Mama auto is the manner, so how do you go there? And then ob da bist is the place. A skin, all da, mama auto, ob da bist. So it is very important to have always the place at, at the end of the sentence. It sounds very, very natural. Gut, doch, das war Trigel Nummer 2. Und nun gehen wir rüber auf Trigel Nummer 3, so Rule Nummer 3, Sentence Bracket. When you have a separable verb, for example, um, aufhängen, abkaufen, um, ummachen zum Beispiel, or a modal verb like uh, können, müssen, sollen, or when a verb is used in combination with a second verb, then the conjugated verb still stays in position 2. And this creates a sentence bracket that contains all of the other information. Beispiel. If you want to say, my mother usually goes home at 6 p.m. So to go home in Luxembourgish is the verb. Do you know that? How to say this? Yes, this is him goen, or if you are going home by a uh, car or by tr uh, tram, by the bus, you would say him fuhren. Okay, so this is to go home. And this is a separable verb, him goen. And then your sentence would be like this. Mein Mom geht normalerweise um sechsauer heim. Meng mam geht normalerweise um sechs Uhr heim. Doch meng mam is the first element and then geht is your verb and then the prefix comes at the end of the sentence. Yes. And in the middle you have all the other information normalerweise um sechs Uhr. Um, now, for the verbs like him, goen, him, führen, the prefix is separated from the stem and placed at the very end of the sentence in the present tense. Uh, there are, of course, some exceptions, or not exceptions, there's another rule, but this will be explained in another um, episode. Let's take an example now with a modal verb like willen. Willen means um, want. If you want to say my mother wants to go home at 6 p.m. today, you will say Meng mam will haut um sagsauer heimfuhren. So we have here willen, the modal verb, the conjugated verb, Meng mam will, and the second verb, heimfuhren, comes at the very end of the sentence, okay? And then the separable verb is no longer separated because you have two verbs. It stays um, 
not separate it at the end of the sentence. Important to remember, yo. And if you want to um, make a sentence in the past, for example, my mother came home at 6 p.m. today, you would say, Meng Mam as haut um Sagsauer heem gefuhr. So again, you will say Meng Mam, first element, as is your conjugated verb. And then haut um Sagsauer is all the other information. And then the second verb uh, conjugated here, the past participle at the end of the sentence, heem gefuhr. Meng Mam as haut um Sagsauer heem gefuhr. So this is also a very important rule in Luxembourgish. When you have two verbs in the sentence, the second one comes at the very end of the sentence, either in the infinitive, if your first verb uh, is, uh, for example, a modal verb, go on, um, or uh, the past participle, if it is a sentence in the past. Now, I know that the sentence order is quite challenging in Luxembourgish. And uh, all my students who are registered in my self-study online course A1 Foundation have free access to my online course, The Basics of the Luxembourgish Sentence Structure. This is a 10-day mini course where you can master in just 10 days the Luxembourgish word order. And um, I illustrate this as well with uh, videos, with audios, with many, many, many exercises and with a final test where you can check your knowledge of the Luxembourgish sentence structure. So this is all included for free in my online course A1 Foundation. Um, you will find all the details on my webpage uh, for the A1 Foundation call, uh, course. So, um, a resume. Let's summarize what we, uh, I have said today. So, in a simple declarative sentence, so not a question, just a normal sentence, those are identical in Luxembourgish with the English one. You have the subject, Ösch, you have the verb, Sinn, and then all the other information, or Ösch, Lehren, Lützebäusch. The verb is always the second element in a Luxembourgish sentence. For example, haut, leeren ösch, lützebäusch. Then you learned that the Luxembourgish sentences are usually time, manner, place. Now over to you. How would you say that I like to go to the swimming pool in summer? Hopefully you've said Ösch diger am Summa an Schwamm. Top Ösch diger is I like to go. And then am Summa is the time, okay, am Summa. Um, am Schwamm and Schwamm is the place, so the place at the end. And you have still two possibilities to uh, say this sentence. You can also start in Luxembourgish with in summer, I like to go to the swimming pool. Then you'd say am summer gehen ich gern an Schwamm. Okay, so du kannst so ich gehe am summer an Schwamm oder am summer gehen ich gern an Schwamm. Und dein Verb aus immer zweite Position. Okay. So, and then... Um, And the last rule is that um, with separable verbs like heimführen, modal verbs like können, wollen, and uh, past tenses, the second verb goes last, so at the end, but the conjugated verb is still the second one. For example, ösch führen immer um Sagsauer ofes heim. So, um, that was it for this episode. Now, as always, don't hesitate to listen to this episode again and again until you master the Luxembourgish sentence structure. And if you want to learn more about the Luxembourgish sentence structure, why not signing up to my self-study online course A1 Foundation, where you will learn all about the Luxembourgish sentence structure. We will have a follow-up EM episode about more rules of this um, sentence structure in Luxembourgish. So, merci für die Nullaustern. Ich so ein bis nächste Woche. Adieu.